All right, so it's looking like we got some interesting things going on over at Yeezy. As Ye has posted some new images to the gram, could he potentially be teasing that next big major Yeezy release that fans have been waiting on? Stay tuned. Before we get into that, a couple of quick updates. First and foremost, I wanted to follow up on yesterday's Fear of God Athletics video where I showcased some never before seen samples as well as some potential pairs that we could see a retail release coming up here in 2024. So specifically, these pairs in the back row, which I believe was a never before seen brand new model. And just as I anticipated, many of y'all hit me up with some updated details. Apparently this is the Fear of God Alaska, which once again is Jerry's take on a classic Adidas model. This is the Adidas Alaska, which is some type of sneaker hybrid type of boot that's currently out of circulation. So an interesting model to bring out the archive. It'll be cool to see if this pair actually gets a retail release and even more interesting will be the retail price. It seemed like a lot of people reacted negatively to the $250 price tag for the Basketball One model. And I could imagine being that this is like a sneaker boot hybrid it looks like they used a lot of material to make these so i could imagine this also may have a high retail price so we'll see how the public actually responds to this and let me know if you guys want some more fear of god athletics updates it looks like the community has responded really great giving me some cool updates i got some more detailed images of some more of those samples so comment down below if you guys would like some more fear of god athletic updates and it looks like adidas has officially kicked off the campaign for one of their marquee january releases i'm talking about the a AE1 New Wave, which will be the second colorway for Anthony Edwards' first signature basketball sneaker. So a lot of people appreciated the marketing campaign leading up to this release. And I feel like these sneakers definitely lived up to the hype as y'all see, rock my joints a couple of times. I feel like Adidas accomplished the goal of releasing a sneaker that has a great on court performance, but a shoe that looks good enough that you could actually rock off the court casually. And I feel like on top of Anthony Edwards being one of the rising NBA stars, you know, he's going crazy on the court. He's also making a lot of noise off the court, which we're not gonna get into too much, but but I feel like this sneaker is kind of like giving Yeezy vibes and I think they definitely lived up to the hype. The $100, tw the $120 price tag isn't bad at all. So as you see with this pair right here, the update, you know, features a blue, which I believe that shade of blue matches his Minnesota Timberwolves uniform color. So joints are cool. I feel like they're not as good as this first orange color right here. Joints go crazy in my opinion, right? So apparently y'all felt the same way as you can't really grab this sneaker anywhere. I believe it's sold out pretty much everywhere. So I feel like the $120 price tag didn't hurt that at all. And I feel like Anthony Edwards not only has a bright future in the NBA, but it looks like the AE1 is off to a great start. And I could see a lot of potential great colorways for this model and future releases for the Anthony Edwards signature basketball line. All right, and for today's Yeezy update, it looks like we have a new item which was added to Yeezy supply, but before y'all panic, do not worry. Joints are not sold out yet. Apparently this was just a test and the item has currently been removed, but it's a potential look at a future release as well as a glimpse inside the future look at upcoming Yeezy drops. So uh, pictured here, we have a pair of denims, which the first thing y'all notice will be that $33 price tag, which I can tell you right now, based off what we've seen so far, as far as pricing goes, I can guarantee you them joints will be nowhere near $33, but as far as the pants, I would say they look cool. This is kind of similar to a pair of denims that we've seen Ye rocking a lot lately, which would make perfect sense as he likes to rock a lot of sample uh, pairs before they actually officially drop. So I feel like based off that, there's a very good chance that we could potentially see these drop. So you got a nice little faded dark wash of jeans, which surprisingly enough, I've actually been in the market for like a dark wash pair of jeans. So it's crazy that these joints popped up and uh, you may notice that these jeans are a little bit unique uh, you kind of have like a wider cut and you'll also notice that there's actually no button or zippers which definitely aligns with the Yeezy philosophy. Apparently the only way to adjust these is like this little uh, small drawstring that you'll notice right at the top. So what are your predictions as far as a retail price and let me know are you guys in the market? 
for a new pair of Yeezy jeans. So I could potentially forecast another Yeezy supply drop, probably going down sometime around when the album finally releases. So, so far we've seen the Yeezy pods, we've seen these new Yeezy slides being teased, two releases that I feel like upon the first initial reactions based off social media have been somewhat polarizing. I mean, actually maybe that's probably not the right word to use because I would feel like these pairs have been getting a lot more hate than love and leaving a lot of fans questioning if Ye breaking up with Adidas was the right move. But this next pair, if these actually turn out to be what I think they are, I feel like these joints could potentially be the one. So of course, Ye, he posted some new images to the gram, you know, showcasing uh, his wife saying uh, no pants all year or whatever. But even more interesting, there's this one little selfie where he appears in and if you zoom in, it's real difficult to tell, but Ye is rocking a pair of boots. Something rare, we haven't really seen him rocking any boots all year, just the sock joint. So this is very interesting and even more interesting earlier in the day, Easy designer Christian Tressler, he actually posted a image working on some type of boot prototype with the caption reading, hands on Yeezy Moto boot. So if that doesn't get y'all excited, I don't know. I can't really tell if this is a new image or what is difficult to tell. There's not really any context other than he's just working on a Yeezy Moto boot. But I believe this is probably something new, you know, based off a couple of things. First and foremost, as y'all know, with all the new Yeezy designs, they've been going out without laces. And this definitely aligns with that as this boot just like kind of slips on. I feel like possibly the only thing they would add on here is like some Velcro to adjust it. And even more why I feel like this is a new updated potential future Yeezy release is that Ye has been competing with Balenciaga head to head. And as y'all know, Balenciaga already offers their take on a moto boot, which has like some insane like $5,000, $6,000 retail price tag. So could it be that Ye is looking to deliver a Yeezy moto boot to the public? And I don't even want to say at an affordable price because I could already imagine being is that Ye is now taking on the industry independently. And with the prices we've seen so far, one could only imagine what the retail price tag will be on this boot. But comparing it to what Balenciaga's retail is at, I guess you could call these joints affordable. So I'm excited to see what the future holds for Yeezy. I mean, y'all may think that I'm reaching with the whole moto boot thing and everything, but once you take a look, at these boots from another angle you could definitely see like the pointed toe and most definitely i feel like we can expect to see some yeezy moto boots dropping in the future so i feel like so far we've seen the pods we've seen the socks uh, i mean the slides or whatever but i feel like these moto boots are the one and if these drop they're gonna go absolutely crazy and for me this is a cool look, something definitely that I want to try out. And I want to see how far these differ, you know, from the Balenciaga joints. And based off what we've seen so far, I feel like Ye is going head to head, you know, hitting us with Balenciaga type items, but possibly at a more affordable price. So we'll see what the future for Yeezy holds. But I just wanted to hit you guys with this quick little update because I was excited and I want to know what y'all think. So let me know your feedback, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the new AE1s. And let me know if you guys want to see some more Fear of God Athletics update. So we're going to wrap things up right here. Salute to everybody for tuning in. I'm JA. Make sure y'all stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out, y'all. Love.